seven. Seven. All right. Seven. 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 I do not friends. Dude, I just watched that episode yesterday, and I was like, I was dying, bro. So funny. I was dying. Yes. We good? Yes. Okay. Um, imagine having like a test tomorrow, or a big test tomorrow, or you got a big project or a big interview to do, but you wait till the last day, last second, and you wait and you basically do it, but you feel very unprepared and you come the next day and you're like, oh, I do not feel good. Well, that's why I agree with this quote. The best preparation for tomorrow is to do today's work superbly well. Uh, quoted by Osler. I'm gonna to explain to you why I agree with it and how it can be performed. Um, why I agree with it? Well, I remember like it's never it never feels good to do the la the, like to get ready and prepare for something big last day last minute. Maybe you could do it the last day, but not last minute. Because I feel if you do it the last day and work and study and prepare the whole day, you come up and you're gonna have it fresh in your brain for the next day. So that's why I that's why I agree with this quote because it it um it uh. It, uh, it basically gets you prepared for the, the big thing you need to do tomorrow. And then how it can be performed, um, well, you don't need to, uh, um, you don't need to do it the, next, the same day, but I believe that you can also take this quote to uh, do it um, maybe the next day, but you don't have to do it the day before as well. You could basically get ready for one day and then the next day, relax, and then you'll be ready for the, the thing, um, be ready for the, the thing, um, the day of the th presentation. That, that's it. Hard, dude. Hard. Hard. No. That's your souvenir of the day, you can keep that. Oh, I, yeah. I like the middle one a lot. Nothing in fine print is ever good news. Michael, the visualization that you used as an attention device was pretty good. I thought that you had a nice clear transition to the topic and the, your purpose statement was clear. There is a good preview, so the structural stuff, where, oh, there you go. <laughs> it, was, it was really solid at the beginning of the presentation. When you get to your first point, I, I, I like the idea that you've got there. You need an example to talk about. You need some yeah. illustration to make that point. And then you run into the same problem when you get to the second point. Yeah. So even though you've got an idea and a structure, you need to kind of, kind of come up with some content. Uh, examples, you know, personal experiences, something that you saw, like we were hearing about a TV show earlier, you know, count, there was counting going on, you know. <laughs> uh, you know, it could come from something that you watched on television, it could come from something that you read for a class. You just need to find something that gives you a chance to talk about it and feel a little bit more naturalistic. Yeah. So the content, I think, is a little bit of a problem. Yeah, now, the presentation issues, your voice is pretty good. You project well. Your pacing gets to be awkward as you go along because that's when you start trying to think of the next thing to say, and so you get stuck a little bit in a couple of spots. Um, you have a tendency to look down and then look in front of us instead of looking at us while you're speaking. You do occasionally look up, but most of the time it's like you're looking right in front of everybody. And the other thing that you do is you keep looking at the quote. You know, it's, it's like you, if I keep looking at the quote, I'm going to get inspired with something to say. And it doesn't help you. This is, I refer to it as refrigerator disease. You know what I'm talking about? When you oh, go yeah. to the refrigerator yeah. once and there's nothing there, and five minutes later you say, let me look again. Maybe something has appeared in the last five minutes. That's what happens. People keep looking at the quote. Maybe something else will show up in my head at the moment. You need to kind of think a little bit long term, you know, you know plan. 
And then once you've said your idea, I do like the point, the fact that you do finish, but it, it needs to be a little bit less abrupt. Yeah. Okay. Good job. Thank you.